Applied Software Advanced MEP Fabrication Series Exporting PCF Files This advanced topic lesson is applicable to Autodesk Fabrication CAD MEP. Piping component files, more commonly called PCFs, are data interchange format files which enable creation of isometric drawings within Autodesk AutoCAD Plant 3D. A piping design in Fabrication CAD MEP can be exported as a PCF and then imported into AutoCAD Plant 3D to automatically create a single line isometric drawing. This lesson explains the process of preparing a piping model in Fabrication CAD MEP for export. It then shows how to export the data and then import the PCF into AutoCAD Plant 3D. Although this lesson concludes with the import process in AutoCAD Plant 3D, you can easily understand the import process without having that software available. Start Fabrication CAD MEP and select the Imperial Content Configuration. Open PCF.DWG from the Exercise folder. The process is pretty simple if we just select Shift, right click, CAD MEP, export. You'll notice that we have the ability to export a PCF file. Before we can do that, we'll need to go ahead and assign parameters to the connectors so that way there's information that's created in the file so that when I bring this into Plant 3D and create my single line drawings, I'll have the correct symbols, etc. Open up the main database. Fittings, Connectors. Go ahead and select Round. And let's take a look at our Weld Bin Butt Weld Beveled Connector. Make sure that you have selected the drawing section of the portion of the database and double click to open up the properties. You'll get a warning that says you do not have ownership of this data. Go ahead and select OK. We do have the ability to set the pipework in type. And this is what we need to set on all of our connectors for the file and so that way it has the correct information when bringing it over to Plant 3D. So for this one, I'll simply select Butt Weld, Close, and OK. I purposely have left all of the end types set to Not Set in the drawing. So that way I can go ahead and double click on my first piece of pipe, select the other tab, and another way to get to that location is simply select the triangle left of the connector name. That will bring me directly to that connector in the database. Make sure again that you're on the drawing portion. Double click and set your pipework end type to the correct end type. Butt weld. And I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing for every item. On this flange, make sure it's like the first connector is butt weld, the second connector is flanged. And and so forth. So as I go through here and select my items, I want to make sure that I've Set my end type, I'll go ahead and spool this out. It'll give me the information that I need for the PCF file. Select Define Create Spool and leave this spool 8. Save it to my exercise file. I've already gone ahead and selected my template and my report and my title block. Select all of my items. And there's my spool. So now let's go back into the model, select Shift, right click, CAD MEP, export, and select export PCF file. Type all to select all your items and enter, and then select enter again to execute the command. And browse to your exercise folder and name the file plant. 
select save. So now that I've saved my file, I can open up Plant 3D and bring that in. I've opened up Plant 3D and I've brought the drawing in. So at this time, I need to select PCF to ISO. In the Create ISO from PCF dialog, here I have the ability to create uh, my different ISO types. So I'm going to select Spool ANSI-B. I'm going to select my save location. I'm going to save this to Advanced Exercise Files Spool. Select Open. And the last thing I need to do is add the PCF file that I created inside of Academy P. Select the PCF file. Select Open. Select Create. You'll notice down at your command line it's saying ISO creation is processing in the background. If you take a look at the file location where I saved the, my spool drawings, you'll notice that the ISO gens were created and placed in here automatically. So you'll notice that I have 8-1-1 through 8-1-4. Just go ahead and take a look at it inside of Plant 3D. Browse to our save location, and I'm going to open up the first drawing. First thing you'll notice is that it gives me my bill of materials, cut piece list, and weld list, along with the correct symbols based off the connection type that I set within Fabrication CAD MEP. Take a look at second drawing. Third drawing. And the last drawing. So we've covered the process of setting the correct connection type within Fabrication CAD MEP, spooling out the drawing, exporting the PCF file, and importing it into Plant 3D using the PCF to ISO.